Hi guys, I heard you were missing me, so here I am back with yet another video. And today, as you must have read the title by now, we are going to be preparing white sauce pasta. And why we are preparing it? Because I love this dish a lot, and because I love it so much that I never ever prepared this dish ever by myself because I always thought I might just mess up with the dish. So today I thought, let it be. We'll make it no matter what. So this is my first attempt into making my white sauce pasta. I have checked a few chefs preparing the white sauce pasta. Also, guys, just a quick heads up. This might as well be your go-to video to preparing your white sauce pasta. So. You know, you can save this video for later if you want to make your own white sauce pasta. It'll be a good idea. I'm suggesting. So, guys, you know what's new today? I got a new hair cutter. Okay, finally, I'm not gonna take any more of your time because last time I got this feedback that I talk a lot. So, cutting it short. Let's start. All right, you guys. So we are ready with all our ingredients. There's one thing that is missing, which is pepper. So you need to add pepper to all of this. So starting off, we have some processed cheese. We've got chili flakes. We've got Italian seasoning. We've got butter. We've got um, cream. We've got um, maida. We've got pasta. We've got veggies of our choice. So you can use whatever you want to use. We've got milk. And one important thing is it's the garlic. So you need garlic. We've got um, olive oil. So yeah, we are ready with all our ingredients. So this is what is required to prepare pasta. So no miss on basically these important things and yeah now we can start so guys because we're using broccoli it has to be parboiled okay so now we let the water come to a boil and once you start seeing the bubbles coming out like so that is when you have to start adding in your pasta like I'm showing you meanwhile we can see that our broccoli is perfectly parboiled Alright, so it appears that the pasta is all set now. So what we are going to do is we will check if the pasta is actually ready or not. So we will take one pasta out of this and cut it into half. And we will see if it... Okay, so we have, if you can see this white ring, this is indicative that the pasta is perfectly cooked. So now we are ready for the next steps. We will just rinse our pasta with some uh, cold water. And uh, as you can see, it's all ready. Okay, now we take a pan and we add in one tablespoon of oil of oil. Uh, although you can use any oil, I'm using olive oil, it's optional. Also guys, at this stage you have to keep your pan at a medium to high flame. Alright guys, once the oil is perfectly heated up, we have to add in our garlic. And after that, we have to add in our chopped onion, like so. And uh, after that, what we're supposed to do is we have to mix them, just saute it for like two to three minutes. And then you have to start adding in your veggies. First, I'm adding my carrot and capsicum. Give this a good mix, saute it for some time. And it'll take about two to three minutes, that is it. And make sure that when you are, uh, you know, mixing or sauteing it, you do not overdo it. Guys, we have to do it in moderation up until the onion is perfectly soft. We don't have to overdo it. And now is the time when we added our parboil broccoli. And then again, give it a good mix and wait for some time, about two to three minutes. And uh, yeah, you have to keep doing this for two to three minutes, as I said. And now is the time when the veggies are perfectly done. We'll just take them off in a plate. Okay guys, now we take the same pan and we just add some butter to this. Alright you guys, so after we have added the butter, we have to make sure that we don't overheat it. We just have to heat it enough that it just melts and remains white in color. We don't have to wait for it to turn brown. Just, uh, you know, melt it enough that it remains white like this. And at this stage, we are adding equal proportion of maida to this. And then we'll start using this whisk, which is the important tool. So using a whisk, you have to start mixing this now. And this is mandatory, by the way. So while you start whisking this, you don't have to use any other tool. It's only the whisk that you have to use. And using this, start melting it. And now we are adding our milk to this. This process would take around 2-3 to three minutes. It can take a little longer depending on what is the situation. So for me it took 2-3 to three minutes. And guys you have to keep doing this for a little long. Up until you can you know sense a good aroma of the butter and maida. So it is a bit of a struggle but it's worth the struggle I'm telling you. Keep whisking it. At this stage you guys you can see that we are beautifully you know achieving our consistency of this white sauce beautiful 
and now at this stage we will be adding a little bit of water okay whisk it again just so that it doesn't get too thick just to adjust the consistency we added our water and now at this stage you can see the bubbles are coming out so this is where we have to add in our processed cheese okay and at this stage you can be very generous with the cheese you can add as much as you like give it a very good mix and at this stage you evidently can sense a very good aroma of the sauce that we are preparing it's very cheesy very nice and also the consistency is just beautiful now the trick to check if you have made the perfect sauce is that you take a spoon make a line if it comes out clear it means the sauce is perfect and now that everything is looking perfectly fine is when we'll add our salt italian seasoning chili flakes and fresh cream and give it all a good mix just look at that it's looking beautiful isn't it and finally now is the time when we start adding in our veggies that we had prepared before and we'll mix that too into our sauce perfect and okay guys so now finally we are adding in our pasta perfect now we have to mix this beautiful okay i added more cheese to this and it looks like the pasta is ready all right you guys so your pasta is ready i'm really impressed by the way it's looking right now what do you think please tell me guys right, so now that the pasta is ready i'm actually going to try this out and tell you how it's actually tasting okay let's taste the pasta mm okay so here i was talking about how amazing the pasta actually turned out and i'm not kidding when i'm saying this because i had seen an amalgamation of a couple of chefs you know preparing this pasta and it just turned out perfect and if you want to follow this recipe you definitely can go ahead all right you guys so if you did enjoy my effort of preparing white sauce pasta today then i'd very much appreciate if you like my video only if you enjoyed it and if you found it informative in terms of preparing your own pasta then it'll be really nice and if you feel like subscribing to my channel you can definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel and yes the last time you commented in uh, on my channel i really enjoyed reading them so uh, if you want to share something if you want to just write something or maybe say hi I'm always there to respond so yeah looking forward to your comments again and yeah up until next time see you